from aerial to aerial. Sorry, I just blew into the bike. <laughs> I'll do your shield. No, no, no. Damn, I just accidentally did that. They're gonna just keep throwing boss fights after the boss fights. They're here. It's all of Kasane platoon. Kasane, looks like all of you made it out okay. I was able to rescue them thanks to your help. I should be thanking you. I would have been taken over by Babe if you hadn't been there. Hey, Kasane. You're not going to try and kill Yuito again, are you? I already told you. She was the one that saved me. I know. But I want to hear her say it. You have all the right in the world to doubt me. In fact, I don't blame you for it either. Yes, I think it's best to talk for now. We should talk and find a better solution, rather than just forging ahead on assumptions. It took me too long to come to this decision, and I apologize for that. Something's different about you. Can you tell me what happened? Why did you try to kill me? I know this will sound ridiculous, but please hear me out. I tried to kill you because I was asked to. By you. Fifty years in the future. Me? Fifty years in the future? What are you talking about? I completely understand how you feel. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, there's no way I would have believed it either. Do you remember when Captain Seto died on the Kunod Highway, and we saw that strange sight? My time travel power, the red strings, activated. Then we jumped 50 years into the future. What? You went to the future? Red strings? That's right. You said you have dreams about those. It wasn't a dream. I have the ability to travel through time. A power called Red Strings. And Yuito, apparently you have the same power as well. What? I know we both use psychokinesis, but that's not what you're saying. It seems you understand these Red Strings a lot better than the rest of us. Just where did you get that knowledge? Was that from the future too? Yes, it was. We saw Yuito in the future. He told me quite a lot. He also asked you to kill me. Right. I'll tell you everything I learned in the future. That should answer everyone's questions. Who should I ask first? The power we both have is actually gravikinesis. It just looks like psychokinesis. When that gravikinesis becomes strong enough to travel through space and time, it's called red strings. I had no idea about that either. The thing that appears when the red strings are used is like a device to time travel. That's apparently what the Kunad Gate is. Normally, it appears only for an instant and disappears immediately, but this time it didn't go away. Left open like that, the gate will eventually swallow the world. It was really bad 50 years in the future. In that world, the Kunad Gate was much bigger than it currently is here in our time. The end of the world. That's what it looked like. It seems that in that future, the gate had expanded so much that nothing could be done to stop it. At first, none of us could believe what we had heard in the future. It was just too hard to swallow. We got some news in Ceyron, then a bunch of stuff happened, and now we can pretty much believe it. But I have to admit, it's gotta be hard to believe just hearing it for the first time. It was when Kasane used the red strings that the Kunod Gate opened. But when her power activated, it resonated with yours, Yuito. That's why the gate won't close. 
On top of that, the gate seems to be slowly expanding. And looking at the news we got from Ceyron, it more or less matches up. The Kunan Gate will disappear if Yuito dies. That's what future Yuito said. That just can't be true. It was already too late in the future, which is why he asked me that favor. He wanted me to kill you in the past, so the Kunan Gate could be eliminated before it got too large. So my power affected the Kunan Gate. I've had a bad feeling since listening to that vision in Togetsu. I can't believe I was right. So you knew? Yeah. I didn't want to believe it, but it's true. So... the me in the future... I guess I just wasn't able to end it myself. How lame. That's not true. The you in that time was great. And you right now is special too. <laughs> I have to admit, I never thought you'd be complimenting me. Thanks. That makes me feel a little better. I'm proud I have the same power as you. That reminds me. How is your brain doing? Has it settled down at all? Yeah, it's fine. I'm getting by. I told you not to worry. All right. We should exchange intel. Then first and foremost, we got some questions. Especially about Kyoka. Yes, of course you would. Kyoka. Are you one of the design children from Togetsu? Yes. I'm a clone made in Togetsu. My genes come from the founder of the Togetsu faith, Dr. Hitoyo Pope. The city is filled with chosen psionics, designed from the same genetic data as me. We are the children of Togetsu. I see. I guess that's why Kyoka and Dr. Pope look the same. We were shocked when we saw Dr. Pope's vision in the Togetsu facility. I hate to ask this, but if she was one of the Togetsu followers... Yes, Kyoka was a spy. She was spying on Kasane. But that's not the case anymore. She decided to live as one of us. I vouch for Kyoka. She's definitely not our enemy. Yeah, I believe you. What? That was fast. The way Kasane looks at Kyoka is proof enough. Though... That's kind of an embarrassing way to put it. Honestly, I don't know much about Kyoka, so I can't really make this decision myself. But I do know Kasane. I wanted to talk to her to decide what to do, and I thought it was best to trust her. If I trust Kasane, then I trust the people she does. Shiden, there's no need to get so riled up. You know very well this is the kind of person Yuito is. Yeah, I just remembered how stupid he is. Hey, Kasane. If Kyoka is one of the design children, does that mean you are too? Hmm. What? What are you talking about? In Togetsu, we saw design children with the same face as Kasane's. Yes. I probably am. That's a weird way to say it. This is the first I've heard of this. Care to extrapolate? I remembered a little from when I was a child in Togetsu. I remembered Mother. From what I recall, I was told I was one of the design children. It only just came back to me, so it doesn't feel real. That's why I said it like that. Oh, I see. I I'm sorry. It must be a painful memory for you. You look so sad. I I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. You're very kind, Hanabi. But of course you should have asked. Don't worry about it. And thank you. You're so nice to her, Kasane. Really? I wasn't trying to be. Anyway, is there anything else you wanted to ask about? Yeah, there is. If you know anything about humans coming from the moon, I'm hoping you can tell me more about it. Huh? D did you hit your head or something? Oh, so you guys don't know about this? Wait. What he said is true? I yes All right. I guess we should explain what we've been told. We learned all of this after looking through Togetsu's archive, so I honestly don't know if we should really believe all of it. 
But if you were a Togetsu spy, Kyoka, you would know if this is true or not. Yes, that's indeed what we were taught. But if that was also part of the conspiracy, then... Actually, no. It's true. It's all for real. What do you mean, Kagura? Sugumi, don't look at me like that. I can't stand it when you look at me like that. Kagura, there's a lot I want to ask you. But for now, tell us about history as Togetsu sees it. Do all Togetsu believers know this? Right, about that. The faith. That's all a lie. Just a way to get Togetsu independence. Besides, the place is mostly made up of design children. I must say, it didn't look like a religious establishment to me. So does that mean that you are one of the design children as well, Kagero? Now, now, I said mostly, didn't I? I'm a colonist from the moon. Get real! Even if there actually were colonists from the moon, that would have been 2,000 years ago. Cold sleep? Yes, exactly. A few dozen colonists are being kept in cold sleep in a Togetsu facility. They wake us up in turns to check on the state of the Earth, and then we're supposed to contact the moon. Uh, hold on. Does that mean you're from the same generation as Yakumo? Look, I don't expect you to believe me right away or anything. But it's the truth. The people of New Himuka wanted to live on Earth, so those that wanted to return to the moon made Togetsu. Togetsu doesn't care about New Himuka or Seiron. They're an egotistical lot that wants to return to the moon instead of living on this crappy, other-filled planet. But as long as the extinction belt is there, they can't go back. Not only that, there's news that others are attacking the moon too. So they got to thinking. What can they do to save their homeland and escape Earth? They need to make it so the colonization never even happened in the first place. The red strings. The time travel power. I see. They want to go back in time and negate it all from ever happening. But wouldn't humanity eventually attempt to colonize Earth again and repeat this history? To be precise, the plan is to only take the Moon and Earth back in time, with a few exceptions. Is that even possible? Taking only a portion of the universe back in time? They believe the Red Strings can do it. They plan to leave records of this timeline's history in the areas that were not taken back in time, so future generations won't attempt to colonize Earth again. Hang on. I'm getting confused. That's so outrageous! I don't know how to take it all in. Whether you want to believe it or not, Togetsu actually managed to create the red strings to carry out their plan. Kasane is the result of that. Although, it's pretty strange how Yuito has a similar power. Let's suppose everything he said is true. That means this isn't really the time to be squabbling over Nuhimuka or Seiron. If Togetsu were to get what they're after, then none of us would have ever existed. No. That's not right. We can't let them succeed. We're all here, trying to survive. Kagero, why would someone at the center of Togetsu's plan reveal all this to us? Can we assume that you are planning to abandon them as well? Ruining their plan is something I've been working towards since the beginning. That's why I joined them, to get in the way. That sounds great and all, but how are we supposed to believe you? You don't have to. If you've got a problem with me, I'll walk. But whatever happens, I'm not going to sit back and let them get away with erasing this history. I left my family on the moon. I won't let them take her existence, too. Kagero means it. I can tell. It's been a long time since I've seen him like this. So please, trust him. Sugumi. Sugumi knows Kagero best. I think we can trust your judgment. Besides, I have a feeling you trust him already. Yeah. If Sugumi trusts him, then I trust him too. And if Yuito does, then I do too. Of course, I'll kill him if he betrays us. <laughs> of course. I keep making fun of them for being naive, but that's what ends up saving me.
If we're going to believe Kagero, then we have to believe all of the history about the colonists from the moon, too. And then figure out what we can do, knowing that. We're stopping Togetsu's plan. That's all we can do. But it's too much for us to handle alone. We need someone who can move nations. Are you going to ask New Himuka for help? We're fugitives there. Even so, we have to. That doesn't mean I forgive them for the things they're doing, though. If they know what Togetsu is trying to do, they might realize their terrible actions are all in vain. What if we asked Seiron for help? If they know about the Togetsu threat, they might realize that New Himuka isn't who they should be fighting. I wonder. As far as I know, both New Himuka and Seiron should have a clear understanding about the Moon colonists and their history. On top of that, they're both scheming to survive. At least it's better than nothing. I don't want to just sit here and wait to be erased. Indeed. So, we should split up and give it a shot? Yes, let's do that. Yuito, you go to New Himuka. And you go try explaining things to Seiron. Now we're finally after the same thing. Let's do our best. Man, wow, what a informative uh, cutscene. That's cool. Alright. I didn't even know we were always supposed to go to the hideout. So I have to die by the end of this. I gotta watch the show now. I didn't think we'd find out so much in Togetsu. This is all so unexpected. All we did was go to Togetsu, but it felt like such a long journey. Good work, everyone. That was a lot to take in. It's a bit difficult to accept it all. <sighs> but I'm glad we know now. The world we normally see is so small. But our horizons have expanded. And now it's clear that there's another world out there. I'm glad we're on better terms with Kasane, too. That's one less thing to worry about. Hey, everyone. About the Kunad Gate. How your power is affecting it? Oh, Haruka let me see Seiron's investigation into it, but the results were the same. At least we know it really is, well, getting bigger. What if Yuito doesn't use his power? If he avoids combat, for instance? No, I looked at the Kunad Gate investigation papers as well. At this point, I couldn't really find a link between Yuito's specific actions and the Gate's expansion. What? So it doesn't have anything to do with Yuito? No. You could say that just the existence of his power is affecting it. It's pretty much safe to assume that the gate will continue to expand as long as Yuito lives. Right. I am sorry for how that sounded, but it's probably best that you know since it does concern you. No, I'm glad you told me. Nothing will change if I try to ignore it. If it's like you say, then I don't need to worry about staying out of fights, do I? We do not know all the details about the Kunat Gate, but I think that is correct. What are you thinking, Yuito? I want to ask you all a favor. What is it? After hearing all that in Togetsu, I'd be lying if I said I didn't think that killing me was the only option for us now. But there are still things I need to do. Things I need to learn. We can never say for certain that there is no other way unless we search for one. Just like we didn't know about the moon until we went to Togetsu, there might be a way to stop the gate that we don't know about yet. I'm sure Kasane had the same idea, and that's why she stopped trying to kill me. So, I want you to help me think of a way to get rid of the Kunad Gate. Huh, you had me a little anxious for a moment. Of course we'll help you. Gemma's right. That was the plan all along. Don't forget about my info network. I'll find out even the most secret information. This isn't just your problem. No matter what's going on with the world, you have to remember we're a team. There has to be a way. And I know we'll find it if we look together. 
We have to save both you and the whole world. You guys... I thought you'd say that, but I guess I was a little worried. So... Thank you. few bonds to do. Luka, Tsugami, and does Hanabi have one? Yep, Hanabi has one too. Alright, everybody. Everybody wants to level up a little bit. Let's go to here first. Kagura? Alright. He has a bond. This, oh, this is, yeah, this is just extra. This is if you want to read. There's more. I didn't even see. But wait, we'll do his. Actually, he's the only one. Might as well do it now. You are Yuito. Have you come to request a lesson from the master of fun? No, you said you'd be expecting me, so I felt bad ignoring you. So you say, but you know you're ready to learn. There's no need to be embarrassed. Now, let's go to town. Ugh. Really? Don't look so down from the start. If you want to have fun, you have to enjoy it. I showed up like you told me to. I just don't feel comfortable having fun when we have so many other matters to take care of. Listen up, this isn't just hanging out. This is a well-prepared, essential lesson to save you from imminent disaster. Disaster? There's a limit to how long you can live being that stiff. The more serious you are, the bigger the damage when it all comes crashing down. So I'm not telling you to totally change, but some coaching on how to loosen up a little will definitely do you some good. Hmm. All right, you win. And I guess I do need a break. Okay, it's decided then. I'll show you all the best places in Seiron to have fun. Huh? Hey, wait a second. All right, next up, karaoke. What, don't tell me you're tired already. Ugh, I'm totally beat. You said all the best places, but I didn't actually think you dragged me all over town. Oh, jeez. Let's sit down over there, then. Thank God. <sighs> you really are used to this. You enjoy life, huh? That's because it's a waste to not enjoy it. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should learn how to be carefree like you. Well, it's not exactly being carefree. And to be completely honest with you, life isn't really all it's cracked up to be. So, I enjoy life by escaping reality. I guess you could say it's a diversion to make me forget. When you say it like that, it kind of makes it sound like today was a waste of time. Sorry about that, but wasn't it a nice break? I do feel a little loosened up. 
which means you need to escape reality sometimes. Especially someone like you who has to deal with a lot of problems. What problems are you dealing with then? It's obvious you're trying to escape from something too. I don't have any problems. I'm just the easygoing guy you know and love. I really doubt that. Immigrating from the moon and living for 2,000 years here on Earth has got to be a roller coaster of a life. I'm sure you have a lot of memories, both good and bad. You must have a lot of stuff on your mind. All right, all right, enough about me already. We're here to relieve your stress today. Come on, next place. Okay, I dodged the question. It's probably safe to assume that something really is bothering him. I can't even begin to imagine what kind of life he's lived. And I can't help but wonder what his true feelings are. You're working very hard, Yuito. You think so? Thanks. <laughs> You're gentle, earnest, and straightforward. It makes me a little jealous. I can't be like you, and I don't have to. But I still recognize your good qualities. Oh look, finally level three Oluka. Ooh. Okay. That's an interesting one. I'd like to get to know you even better. Link up. I was actually thinking the same thing. I think we can be better friends. What gifts do I have? Squash racket? We already gave it to uh, a Navi. I guess we could give it to Luca. Or we could give it to uh, Sagami. We'll give it to Sagami. And we'll do the Vaughn episode. Yuito, this is perfect. Will you accompany me to the gym? Yeah, sure. Are we lifting weights? If so, why don't we invite Gemma? I'd like to keep it the two of us today. There is something I wish to confirm with you. Uh, okay. So, what do you want to confirm? This isn't like a strength test. No, we are not here to train. I brought you here because there's no one around, making it perfect for us to talk alone. Is something wrong? Remember when we went to the old OSF hospital? Yeah, that was a rough day. Did you hear the researchers talking about my brother and me? Oh, well, uh... You're as bad at lying as ever. So you know then, that my brother and I were duds. Yeah, I didn't say anything because I thought it would bother you. I see. Uh, thank you for your concern. He won't look at me. Maybe he didn't want me to know. How did you know that I knew? After we returned to the hideout from the old OSF hospital, you told everyone that you were a dud. Your face changed when you looked at me. That made me believe that perhaps you knew. Oh, you could see it on my face. Sorry. Don't be. It was inevitable that you would find out. I am curious, though. Why did you feel it was necessary to tell everyone that you were one? Um... It's a handicap to be a dud in this world. I failed to see how that knowledge being public would help you. Well, I didn't think that any of you would treat me differently just because I said I was a dud. 
and everyone reacted just like I thought they would. It made me realize there's a lot of good in my life. <laughs> I don't think anyone would care if you told them. I don't agree. Luca. Unlike you, I've lived knowing the burden of being a dud. I may be a Septentrion, but my power was implanted through experiments. I wasn't born with it. It could suddenly disappear one day. And when that happens, the public will turn on me. That's the fear I've always lived with. I can't just change and become carefree like you. No matter what the public thinks, you're still Luca. You've been fighting in the OSF for so long. You work harder than anyone else and achieved a lot. That won't change no matter what people say. You are strong. Your strength lies in the fact that you can say that. But I am not like you. Or my brother. I am not strong enough to fight against the tide. Luca. This is who I am. Please, promise me. Please don't tell anyone that I am a dud. Okay. I promise I won't. Thank you. And that's all I wanted to talk about. I'm going back now. I am counting on you. Don't worry. I'll keep my promise. He looked worried. I know the secret he kept for so many years. Maybe me promising isn't enough. No. I just have to work to make sure he's not threatened. I'll keep my word, no matter what. What's the matter, Hanabi? Why are you sighing? Did something happen? Oh, Yuito. No, it's nothing. Come on, you can tell me. We've known each other since we were kids. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. So, the other day when I was battling an other, I accidentally burned a building that was nearby, and Gemma scolded me. He said that my control of my powers was rough, and I'd eventually end up hurting those I need to protect. He doesn't mince words. He's right, though. I wasn't paying enough attention. Gemma asked me what I wanted to be as a member of the OSF, and to think hard about what I'm fighting for. The thing is, I still can't picture what I want to strive for. Right. You did mention that you never thought about what you wanted to do in the OSF. Yeah. And the things we've seen since joining... You know, the suspicious secrets and inhumane experiments? Just awful things that ruined that image I had of the OSF as a kid. That's true. After finding out that the organization we're in caused a lot of suffering to so many people, I can't picture anything positive when someone asks me what I want to fight for as a member of the OSF. I understand that feeling of disappointment. Finding out this isn't the organization you thought it was. But you're the one who's out there fighting. You just need to figure out what you're fighting for as an individual, not as part of the OSF. My reason for fighting... I'm not sure if I have one. I bet you'll come up with something if you think about it. I mean, if there's no reason, then why have you been fighting by my side all this time? It's because you... I what? N nothing I'll try thinking about it some more. Okay, but there's no rush. I'm always here if you want to talk. Thanks. It's not like me to doubt myself like this. Feeling sad won't change anything. All right. I'm going to find a reason to fight. Yeah, that's the spirit. Thanks for cheering me up. 
You were always cheering me up when we were kids, so it's my turn now. You don't owe me anything, but I'm happy to hear you say that. Thanks for listening. Sure. Just let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Don't worry. I will. about to spill her feelings but she stopped forward to it you're good at taking care of plants you're good at taking care of me <laughs> good at taking care of people huh really oh man you're making me blush oh we're level four now with her <laughs> he's funny okay increase sas recovery speed and assault vision okay nice yeah she shoots so that's cool I just gotta use it a little bit more. Um, Yurito? Would you... No, never mind. Hmm. Did you want to say something? Just let me know when you want to talk. I hope I can get to level 6. We gotta see what... If she gonna get... Be shot that whole... Every time or not. Yurito, do you have a moment? Yeah. What is it? That white flower. The silent snow melt. Something about it has me curious. Did you find something out? I'm not positive yet, but remember when we climbed Hiano Mountain? Yeah, it was cold there. Walking through the snow was tough too. That mountain is the perfect place for the silent snow melt to grow, I think. You did say something about that flower blooming on cold mountains, didn't you? Yeah, so I'm going to go. You're going to go where? To Hiano Mountain. What? You're going to Hiano Mountain by yourself to look for that flower? I won't just look for it. I'll bring it back. I will show you that flower. No, that's way too dangerous. It's a steep mountain and there are others there. I can't let you do it. It's fine. I can fight. I've been fighting longer than you. That's true, but going alone is a bit... <sighs> Are you absolutely set on going? Yes. Even if you try to stop me. You're kind of... <sighs> no, you're really stubborn. Alright, I'm going with you. What? But... It's no use. I'm going, even if you try to stop me. <laughs> okay, then we'll go together. Yeah, to Hiano Mountain. It's always so cold here. The flower we're looking for is probably higher up. Yeah, huh. we might have to go to the summit. This climate isn't its natural environment. All right, this okay, is cool. Let's go to the summit then. I didn't think we was going to be able to go with her. I thought they was going to just automatic transition into it, but this is even better. Huh. Okay, we ain't got to go too far. We gotta go far, but not like all. I thought we had to go all the way. I was gonna say, bro, this is not good. This is pretty rare. That attack worked. That 
Yeah. Must be a weak spot. Yeah. This isn't the right flower. She's looking for the flower with her clairvoyance. Hey, you have to watch your step here. You should be careful. There's a rock under the snow in front of you to the right. I, 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 I understand. What? That's wrong. Whoa! That was yeah, new, we really actually. Well if your body begins to burn with fire, it will drain your health. Yeah. Come on. So be careful. Watch out for electric attacks. You won't be able to move if you're electrified. Okay, so there's a that was new. Close. Max Shelly, damn. I didn't mean to use something like that. Also, they don't get healed. It sucks. That's weird. He's like, stop hitting. Is this. Am I reading that wrong? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. That one explodes. Don't get too close to it. Might be. I might have just gotten it. Yes. All right. Uh, I haven't. I don't. You don't see these enemies. You okay. Oh, we're just gonna regular hill. I forgot I have the auto hill. Um, I didn't even know which way. We, are we going the right way right now? Like we not going the right way? Of them. 
Wow. Looks like you were right after all. So, where is it? Close by. Wait. Oh, oh no. What? What do you see? An other is walking near the flowers. It'll crush them. Let's hurry. No. I guess we can't just shoo it away. Watch out. Here it comes. Get ready to fight. Understood. Bro, what? Press the button and everything. That's some bull. Water attack? Getting wet limits your ability, so be careful. Someone's down. This isn't good. That ain't good. should do it. Are the flowers okay? They were trampled. They're almost all crushed. If we had only found them sooner. It looks like almost half of them are still fine to me. 
I saw below the ground with my clairvoyance. The stems are broken and the roots are twisted. They're all hurt. No way. Not even a single one survived? Some are just weak. I think they'll recover. It will take time, though. I see. Well, at least we saved them from being completely wiped out. But... I don't know what to do. I plan to bring the flowers back with me. Will they just wilt if you bring them down from the mountain like this? With the right nutrients, they'll be fine. I've thought about how to cultivate them, so I'm pretty confident. But... The environment I'd be growing them in would be harsh for them. I'm not sure if it's the right thing to do. You're such a kind person. Would you be opposed to the idea of just leaving these flowers here? This is the best environment for them, so they'll be healthy here. But you like these flowers. Are you sure? Just the fact that I was able to see them blooming makes me happy. And you worked hard for that to happen. So? What do you think? I... If the flowers are happy... I don't want to ruin that. Okay. Let's go then. Yeah. <sighs> hey. How come you wanted to bring the flowers back with you? Huh? Oh, um... It's a rare flower. So I wanted to try to grow it myself. So a little intellectual curiosity, then? I guess you're like a botanist. When I grow a new plant, it's like I get a new friend. It makes me happy. I see. Well, now you have a long-distance friend. We should come visit the flowers again. Sure. Um, and... Hmm? Was there another reason? N no, it's nothing. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's obviously another reason. Uh, now I really want to know what it is. But it's not like I can force her to tell me. Well, I'm sure she'll tell me eventually. We should get back to the hideout and get some rest. That's everything. Actually, I need to upgrade and then we're gonna hit the table. Alright, we're good. Knock our nose over, knocking them around. Let me uh, confirm that everybody gamma is a child. Want to rule is child. Okay. I don't wanna miss nobody. Let's rest before we go back to Suo. Alright. We're going back to Suo, but they think we're rebels. When we get there, do you think they'll send the National Defense Forces or the OSF after us? Even if we do get caught, who says we won't be able to make a request to see the Chief? We'll most likely get our personalities rehabilitated before then. I thought about it, and I think it might be best to say we want to see my brother right off the bat. Yuita, that's bold. I'm sure they know we've been all over, learning secrets. My brother takes the Sumeragi name seriously. I think he'll want to persuade me to join him. Now that I'm branded a rebel, he might expect me to come crying to him. That's crazy. I'm almost certain that he's waiting for me. All right, but we should do what we can to prepare for a confrontation. Yeah, I know. I sure do hope Kaito hears you out. It'll be nice to get some new information from him as well. There's probably many things we still don't know. I agree. And he is the head of the OSF. So it is safe to say that he knows just as many secrets as the counselors. I guess if that's the case, maybe it is worth trying. 
What is it, Wataru? No, no it, it's just... I was thinking of ways I could support you from here. Anyway, don't worry about it. Okay, keep up the good work. All right, let's head out to Suo. No, they're just hiding. This whole area is surrounded by the National Defense Forces. They're waiting to ambush the rebels. But something isn't right. They're definitely planning something. Even if it's a trap, all we can do is go straight in. Let's head to the OSF headquarters. Someone's coming this way. Is that... Hey, Yuito. I missed you. Nagi? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? <laughs> Just hanging out, you know? I'm here to clean the rebel filth out from the great new Himuka! Is it new Himuka's plan to make us fight Nagi? I won't do it. We don't need to fight. Nagi, run away with us. We'll find a way to undo the personality rehabilitation. If they can just change you like that, there must be a way to change you back. What? I can't go now. The fun's about to start. I'm gonna kill you and rip out your brain! Brain? Maybe he's ordered to get Yuito's brain. What? Hey, Yuito. We're friends. You'd do me a favor, wouldn't you? Give me your brain! He's so strong. This isn't just personality rehabilitation. He's received some kind of power enhancement. Damn! Why? Why is this happening? Do we have to fight? Feel free to stand there if you don't want to fight me! I'm gonna cut off that ugly head of yours either way! You are gonna try to fight back, right? And I want to see you struggle. Make it more fun for me. Stop this! <laughs> I feel the power coursing through my veins. It feels so good. Use my power when you can't anticipate the chakram's movement. Kamoki's power is rapidly increasing. Any hesitation could be deadly. I won't let him kill you, Ito. We're gonna stop him with everything we have. I can hear you, bro. Nagi told me that he wasn't suited to use bias. It might have been a catch. No thought given to the negative effects it may have on the brain. That's awful. He's a human being. Hey now, Yuito. Is that Just all? <laughs> Stop this! Shut up! I can still kill him! I was supposed was to buy close. more stuff, I forgot. That one thing didn't even hit me and it hit me. That's some bull. Lend me your eyes. Here we go. Good. I need support! Yeah. Uh, the hell? Oh, that hurts! Damn it! Yeah. 
Something big is coming. Watch out. Ew. What the fuck? I'll, I'll kill you! This is bad. They just expect you to know his moves, don't they? How do you like this power? Stop this. Even got power. The game just lets you have whatever you want. His brain is under a lot of stress. There could be something wrong with it. Can't get close to him, really? At this rate. At the moment you get close to him, he instant kills you. Man, this game sucks, bro. With <laughs> the boss fights, it's just it don't make no sense. He instant kills you. Went from full health to no health. Nagi. You are gonna try to fight back, right? Then I want to see you struggle. Make it more fun for me. <laughs> I feel the power coursing through my veins. It feels so good. Use my power when you can't anticipate the shot from movement. Hoggy's power is rapidly increasing. Any hesitation could be deadly. We won't let him kill you, each other. We're gonna stop him with everything we have. Naki told me that he wasn't suited to use bias. It might have been attached with no thought given to the negative effects it may have on the brain. It's regroup now. That's awful. He's a human being. <laughs> I wish I could just lay down. I saw it. Great job, Sugumi. Here we go. down so quick why what's the point of how his power if it's gonna go down instantly as i get it nagi you are gonna try to fight back right and i want to see you struggle Make it more fun for me. Stop this. <laughs> I feel the power coursing through my veins. It feels so good. Use my power when you can't anticipate the chakram's movement. What? Huggy's power is rapidly increasing. Any hesitation could be deadly. We won't let him kill you, Ito. We're gonna stop him with everything we have. Naki told me that he wasn't suited to use bias. This man shooting through it shit. Might have been Crazy. Attached, with no thought given to the negative effects it may have on the brain. That's awful. He's a human being. You got this. Leave it to me. 
Thanks. It's good to have you on the team. Yeah. Oh, oh, Miss Gemma. <laughs> Stop this. <laughs> Shut off. Oh, what? Stop this. Shut off. <laughs> Out of this. <laughs> no. He's starting to piss me off now. Same attack, same shit, same over and over, over and over, over and over. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the power coursing through my veins. It feels so good. Use my power when you can't anticipate the chakram's movement. Even when I can't anticipate it, dodging only works randomly. I won't let him kill you, Ito. We're gonna stop him with everything we have. Oh, one is not enough? It might have been attached with no thought given to the negative effects it may have on the brain. It's awful! He's a human being! At this rate, stop this. Oh, why is dodge it don't work? What's the point? Ow, that hurts. Damn it. Yeah. Something big is coming. Watch out. But he still hit me. I'll kill you! Jumping, dodging, and he still hits me. <laughs> and uh, he's running. Shut up! How do you like this power? Nagi, what's the matter? For a second, he... His brain is under a lot of stress. There could be something wrong with it. So with the dodging, I dodge, nothing happens. And then sometimes I dodge and we all do it. Can still fight. Stop this! Why? Stop this! It's too late. Definitely Nagi, see the difficulty. Please. You have to stop. Shut up. Yuito's brain. I must get Yuito's brain. Damn it. How long have we Bro, been what? doing this? Come on. Why? Stop this. Why? <laughs> of course. Why is everybody with the why is everybody getting us now? The Sane got it. This dude's more OP than uh Kasane. He shoots shit from a distance. Woo! Look at that. That shit almost hitting me. Yeah. <laughs> 
My head. It hurts. Stop this. <laughs> Shut up. Right there. I can still fight. Stop this. Stop it. Shut up. Damn. Come on. I wish the damn dodging would work. Stop this. It's like so so random that it works. I it works, finally. I need it to work because that's that's one of the ways to fill my thing up. That's not the right button. I was supposed to use L1, not R1. Damn it! What's happening? Come on! Stop it! Shut up! I need the purple dodge. Here we go! Ooh, that hurt. Stop knocking! Damn. Damn. Why? Why won't you just die, you Ito? Stop it! There's no reason for us to fight! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I'll kill you! I must have your brain! What's wrong? Uh, no! Shut up! Don't tell me what to do! Stop! Stop! You eat You can't move him! Wake up! Uh, Yuito... I... Uh... Nagi... You... Are you... Yourself? I'm sorry... I didn't know what was happening... The voice... Said I had to... Kill you... Don't apologize, it's not your fault! It was all the people who did this to you! I didn't want to fight you. I tried to resist, but it hurt so much. They told me to kill you. That they'd kill me if I didn't. I was so scared. So I couldn't stop. There was nothing else I could do. Every time he resisted, they sent him to personality rehabilitation. How can they be so cruel? I'm fine, so don't be so hard on yourself. You don't have to be afraid of their threats anymore. I'll fight with you. <laughs> Yuito, you're so... How did this happen? We were always together. Ever since we were cadets, we were finally OSF. In Seto Platoon, I thought we could still goof off together. I... I have to apologize to Captain Seto, but it's too late. <laughs> I thought that when I died, it would be more heroic, you know? Going out in a blaze of glory, fighting another. Look at me. I'm no hero. Tell me. How did I... How did I... mess everything up so bad? 
Hey, you, Ito. If I was gonna die either way, what... What should I have done differently, huh? Haki. <laughs> Haki. No. You weren't wrong, Nagi. It was the country that did this to you. They're the ones to blame. When I didn't know what to do, you were the one who suggested we join the OSF. I said I wanted to save people, but I couldn't even protect you. I'm sorry. I will avenge you. That's a promise I can keep. Yuito? I'm fine. I hate just leaving him there. Yeah. We'll take care of him later. We have to go see my brother. He's a government official. He probably had something to do with Nagi waiting here to ambush us. No way. You think Kaito would use Nagi to get at you? I don't know. Either way, we have to meet. The National Defense Forces are surrounding the path to OSF headquarters. They haven't given up on capturing the traitors. They're probably no match for you, but be careful. Oh, and Yuito? Take it easy. Thanks, Wataru. All right, let's head to OSF headquarters. <sighs> What's going on at OSF headquarters, Wataru? Wataru, do you copy? That was close. Huh? Oh, sorry, you can keep moving, Yuito. Something's up with him. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep playing this damn game. Why did it make his fight so difficult? I literally have to lower the difficulty down one notch. Just to be beat this motherfucker, because he hits you and he takes like 80% of your health, and they expect you. To get it by like with the third fight they expect you to do be able to dodge perfectly and you no know, every move this man has i hate these boring fights i don't want to be moving around like 90 percent of the time just to do 10 percent of damage every every like what two minutes Let's continue. There's no one in front of OSF headquarters. There aren't any OSF or National Defense Forces. What's going on? You got the phone down. I expected a cutscene. I didn't expect it to actually go into this. We haven't run into any interference since we got to headquarters. They must have ordered everyone out. The only person in that room is Chief Sumeragi. So, he's waiting for me. Just like I thought. It'll be difficult supporting you going forward. Do your best talking to the Chief. You mean, the network's going to get cut off? No. I'll tell you why later. Just do your best. Got it. Will do. Everyone ready? Here we go. Kaito. 
I figured you'd come by. Yuito? I wanted to talk to the new Himuka government about Seiron, so here I am. I figured since you're with the government, you'd listen to me. Your safety has been assured for that purpose. I assume you want me to remove your status as a rebel? Before we get into that, Kaito, there's something I need to ask you. Was it you that sent Nagi after me? What if it was? <clears throat> How could... Unfortunately, he failed. We gave him so many enhancements, yet he was still a failure. Don't say that about Nagi! Yuito, I know how you feel, but... It is awful. But you must hold yourself back. Why, Kaito? Why did you do that? What did Nagi ever do? He knew about the secret of metamorphosis, so he was rehabilitated. I'm sure you know all about that. He was the perfect subject for testing power enhancement on an OSF soldier. Also, he was exactly what we needed to tame you. That power of yours. New Himuka needs the special gravikinesis power you have. I thought you'd be open to the idea if we used your friend, but you really are irritating. You did all of that to Nagi just to get my power? I wouldn't have needed to do this if you had just done what the government wanted. If you had come to me as soon as you were branded a rebel, I could have taken care of it. You've always been like this. You do whatever you want, without listening to my advice. You don't act at all like a Sumeragi. That's why Father never told you. Tell me what? That it's our destiny to fulfill the wishes of Yakumo Sumeragi. Wishes? It doesn't matter. You don't need to know. Does it have something to do with the moon? Yakumo Sumeragi was one of the first colonists from the moon. Where did you learn that? In Togetsu. We went to Togetsu and found a lot of information that New Himuka is hiding. You went to Togetsu? So that's where you disappeared to. I already told you I want to talk. If we don't stop Togetsu, New Himuka will... There isn't a single piece of information that comes out of Togetsu worth trusting. Don't tell me you've been brainwashed. Who are you calling brainwashed? We looked into what we learned in Togetsu, and we think we can trust it. Silence! You were just seduced by them without knowing Yakumo Sumeragi's noble purpose. I'll teach you some real history. We were sent to Earth, our motherland in order to reduce the human population on the moon. Not only that, they created the Extinction Belt and sealed the colonists on Earth. What? The Extinction Belt was created by the people on the moon? Now you see just how diabolical the moon is. After much hardship, Yakumo Sumeragi created New Himuka and came to a decision that someday we would destroy the Extinction Belt and attack the moon. We inherited Yakumo Sumeragi's will, and we must exact our revenge on the moon. Revenge? That's what Yakumo wanted? Yes. It is our destiny to fulfill the Founding Father's wishes. It is that very reason New Himuka exists. Now you see what it is you must do, what your duty is as a descendant of Yakumo. If we use your gravikinesis, we can move the Extinction Belt. The time has come to open the path to the moon and get our revenge! I don't have that kind of power. It's possible. If you connect to all the citizens through SAS, even if it's just a normal person's brain, with thousands, tens of thousands connected together, your brain functions will expand exponentially. By connecting so many psionics, New Himuka's military strength will increase rapidly. Connecting civilians to SAS? Ridiculous! Only psionics can endure that kind of pain. Whether or not they can endure it is of no importance. The only thing we need are their brains. Actually, it would be best to eliminate their pesky personalities. And personality rehabilitation technology makes that easy. Stop it! People aren't a means to an end, and neither am I! 
Kaito, it's stupid to get revenge for a 2,000-year-old grudge. I think what the people from the moon did was wrong, too. They made the extinction belt. But do you really think it's right to force civilians into this? That is the will of Yakumo Sumeragi. Yakumo this, Yakumo that. He died a long time ago. Yakumo Sumeragi is alive. What are you... He is asleep, deep beneath Suo. Even now, he is waiting for his revenge. Are you referring to cold sleep? Just like Kagura. I was shocked as well when our father first told me. And it was at that same time I realized the destiny that awaits. Grow up. There's so much you need to understand about what it means to be a Sumeragi. Destiny? Who cares? Because it's a 2,000 year old tradition? Because I'm a Sumeragi? That's just an excuse to stop yourself from thinking about it. I'll never be like you. I want to find the truth, evaluate it, and decide for myself. You'll lose the honor of our family name. I don't care. With or without the Sumeragi name, I'm still me. What? Yuito. You. I didn't think you would be so unreasonable. I suppose all I can do is force you to cooperate. I was hoping you'd listen to me, but I guess that's out of the question. Sorry, but I don't plan on getting caught now. You are betraying our father. I know I am. But I think Dad would understand. A fool. I have something important to tell you. Can you get to the safe zone? Tell me what? All right, let's just get out of here. Stand out if we hang around here. We should move to the safe zone. I wonder will we get attacked or anything? The one in this part. It's clear on the street, so it's possible to get attacked. Let's save real quick. Just in case we do get attacked. Still the phase line. Yep. I'm expecting one of these phases to not even be able to help us through the safe house. Like let us go to the safe house. It's weird being here and no nothing's like here. What do you want to tell him, Wataru? Shouldn't we get out of Suo and rethink our plans for now? No, I want to tell you right away. Everything the Chief just said, I was able to use the system to record the video and audio for all of it. What? Didn't you say that recording was prohibited? There are ways to get around that. It does, in fact, take a certain amount of skill, though. That's so dangerous. If you got caught, Personality rehabilitation would be the least of your worries. We were all in danger, and I covered my trail. But yeah, it was risky, so there won't be a second time. Oh, so you said you couldn't support us because you were focusing on that. You recorded the conversation with my brother. You're thinking about the keycard Fubuki gave you. If we access Arahabaki, we can send the data to everyone in New Himuka. Yeah, that's right. We can complete Major General Fubuki's mission. Then my brother and father's name will be dragged through the dirt. 
Yuito. I know your family's involved, but you're not responsible for the things they've done. I respect my commander's decision, and I'm ready to take on this burden with you. We're a team. We know you have some hard decisions to make, but we all feel the same as Gemma. Allow us to help carry the burden. Thanks, guys. Honestly, I'm not sure if destroying what my father and brother built is the right thing to do. But now I know the truth, so I have to act. I know this is something I need to do. Let's go to Arahabaki. We're telling everyone what my brother and new Himuka have been hiding. All right, let's make this happen. That's it then. I pulled up a route to Arahabaki for you. Major General Fubuki sent me the data earlier. Thanks, Wataru. For that and the video. I knew we could count on our operator. <laughs> Just doing my job. Okay, I've sent you the location data. Let's head there right now. I wonder, can you get all your teammates to level 6 in one playthrough? Probably, but you'll have to do all side quests and find all the gifts and all the other stuff. Oh, this looks nice. Cool. I hope the key card we got from Major General Fubuki gets us through. Are we inside Arahabaki? This feels different than the place we visited on that field trip. I don't recognize it at all. It's installed below Suo. It goes down pretty far, but only the upper levels are open to the public. I believe this is the secure site where they control it. Fubuki was only allowed restricted access, so we don't know much. We should be able to access it from somewhere around here. It doesn't look like there's anyone suspicious around. But I do see that it's softly big in there. Got it. Tell me when you see something. First, let's look for an access terminal. Kaito wouldn't even listen to us about stopping the war with Seiron. It seemed like he stopped listening as soon as he heard Sogetsu was involved. He was shocked. He didn't think you'd turn against him. Yeah, I was surprised too. But I'm glad I said what I wanted to. You didn't have many opportunities to speak frankly with the chief? <laughs> Not at all. We've never been close. My brother has always followed in our father's footsteps. Unlike me, I think my brother just did what he thought was right. I still can't forgive him, though. Just because you're brothers doesn't necessarily mean you understand each other. There was a lot I didn't get about my brother. Former Major General Karin seems like he's a bigger problem than my brother. <laughs> Us younger brothers have it hard. <laughs> we do? Something's coming at 10 o'clock. Is that... Another? What? People use this place. What's an other doing here? I see it too. Did someone realize you were there and lure it in? Maybe... No. There's no point thinking about that. We just have to be careful. The connection is bad inside Arahabaki. It might take time for me to receive the video data. Understood. Go as fast as you can. Hey, can can I put like people with me? Cause if I fight, we're gonna be kind of screwed, bro. All right, cool. Wow, that is <laughs> that's crazy. Is that the only way we can go? It's a dead end. Yep. We might be able to make a path if we lower the bridge. But that bridge is up. Hmm. That means it's Yuito's time to shine. Okay, that worked. We can move forward now. It's like little brother and little sister, bro. 
Where is it? There's no way there should be others inside our Habaki, right? No, they shouldn't be in a sealed area like this. Maybe someone. Never mind. Oh, what? Boom, no. I need support. I knew about the L2s, so I just didn't want to. So, these are, it says it's gonna always close. Oh. oh. Use it well. Oh, it doesn't work. Very interesting. Lend me your eyes. Interesting. I don't know how you get to that one. They don't really have uh, new weapons like that. Yeah, everybody's weapons is kind of chill. 